One thing I've noticed for a long time is the design of female Sonic characters. Unlike the males, they haven't been as consistent and currently I'm not exactly a fan of how they look. That sounds weird. If we go back to 1993 and look at Sally Acorn from Sonic Sat AM, I think she's the perfect design for a female Sonic character. Her hips have a slight curve to them to show that she's not male, and her chest has this pointy look towards the top, whereas the male characters either have chest hair or a belly with no points. Now, if you compare Sally to her comic book reboot design, she wears more clothing. To take things a step further, let's compare her to Rouge, who was introduced to the Sonic franchise in 2001, almost 10 years after Sally. Rouge is a character many people like to laugh at due to the fact that she wears a revealing outfit and has more humanoid body proportions in certain areas. Going even further, the character customization in Sonic Forces. The females are required to wear a bodysuit which covers their chest and groin. Meanwhile, male characters are basically nudists. The reason I have a problem with the current female design is due to the inconsistency. If males had to wear shorts, that would be fine. Look at the Tie the Tasmanian Tiger franchise, for example. The guys wear clothes just like the girls. Even Crash Bandicoot has this same logic. But in Sonic, the guys mostly just wear shoes and gloves. Sonic, Shadow, Tails, Knuckles, Silver, Metalis, Infinite, Jet, Storm, Espio, Vector, Mighty, Ray, Bean. There's a lot, okay? Obviously, in the real world, women can't exactly run around shirtless like men can. But at the same time, men can't run around with their Uncle Bob on display. So if Sega is going to apply human genitalia logic, then apply it to both genders. Females can of course still wear clothes in Sonic, since there are male characters who also wear clothes, but it shouldn't be a requirement. Plus, maybe characters like Rouge should get a slight redesign, so that the chest area isn't as obvious. I kinda liked her outfit from Sonic Heroes, so maybe that kinda design with a reduced chest for a new Rouge. I just want characters to have a design more like Sally's, because those designs also show off what kind of animal the character is supposed to be. Take the female Jackal in the Sonic Forces preview comic. She wears shorts and a sleeveless shirt while everyone else wears less clothing around the body. Her stripes aren't being shown and so far it seems that Sonic style jackals have those distinctive stripes on their back so you wouldn't be able to really tell what kind of animal she was unless it was specified. Anyway, I just felt like getting this out there. It's a problem I've had for some time with female Sonic characters, so please, Sega, can you just be more consistent with the logic you apply to your characters? Why do the females have genitalia while the males don't? Honestly, it would just be so much better to just stop this humanoid female trend, in my opinion. What do you guys think? If you think the females should always be clothed, then let me know why in the comments. I'm Lord Danny, signing out.